Hey Bob, this is Sarah from Flourish, and I am finally here to do your shop critique, which I'm super excited about because you have an Amazon shop, and I very rarely get to do Amazon shops. Didn't even know that you had an Amazon store until I clicked on your name, and I'm so excited because, you know, the, the Etsy, Etsy stores kind of get monotonous after a while. Well, not only am I excited that you have an Amazon shop, but you're a photographer. And if there is one thing that I could do, like if I didn't have to work, if I didn't have to um, pay the bills, I guess, um, if I could just kind of live and do what I, you know, what I would love to do, I would love to be a photographer. That's like a secret passion of mine. You know, I did some amateur product photography when I was in my handmade business. And of course, I like taking pictures of my children. Um, but to be able to, to travel and, and explore and just take photos, oh, um, I, I would love that. So I'm, I'm envious of you and what you do. I think that you're very lucky. You're very blessed to be able to do what you do. So I wanted to kind of talk about, um, we're going we're gonna to talk about similar things that I talk about when I do Etsy shop critiques, but we're just going to kind of walk through this together. And as I see something that sticks out to me, I will mention it. Um, you know, you may not have anything wrong with your shop. Your, your shop might be perfect. So we're going to kind of go through it together. Um, I don't normally do a lot of Amazon shops. I've done a couple. So... I might be um, kind of clunky as I'm moving around a little bit, um, and, and in advance I, I do apologize for that, but I think the last time I did an Amazon shop critique was like three months ago, and I don't know if there's been any changes since then either. All right, so let's talk about, we're going to talk about the five pillars, and the reason why is because it doesn't matter where you're selling. It doesn't matter if, you, if you're on your own website, if you're on Etsy. Um, if you're on Shopify, whatever it is, um, the five pillars matter no matter where you are. All right. So the first is branding. We talk about branding a lot. Now, what is a brand to you? What do you feel as a brand? I mean, your business's name is Bob Estrin Fine Art Photography, right? Or Bob Estrin Photography. That's you, right? You are your brand because you're the photographer. So people, they're not just looking at, um, a need that needs to be fulfilled they're 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 going to be fans or followers or uh, your target audience because they like your talent your gifts um, you know they could have any picture of let's say trees up here but they're going to like yours because it's you it came from you your eye your eye saw that and captured it so you really want to make yourself part of your brand because you're a service-based business and because um, you are pretty much representative of your entire company. So right here you have Bob Estrin Photography and this, which looks like I guess a shutter perhaps with the camera in it. Um, so let's talk about that for a minute. What kind of process did you go through when you were starting out or uh, as a business, what process did you go through? Did you did you connect with a graphic designer? Did you design that yourself? Um, this font is a pretty basic um, font, one that came out a long time ago. Um, you're not really showcasing your logo and, and your name too much. You're showcasing your your photos, which I understand that's the the beauty, right? For your cover photo now. Amazon originally came out and said, hey, we want you to show pictures of your workspace. Um, originally, if you go back to when Amazon opened, that was the directions that you should use your cover space to show your work area, maybe your workbench, your studio space, whatever it is. And if you had items that you sell on your workbench or on your studio table, um, you could flag it. And it would tell you what that is and uh, how much and all that kind of stuff. Well, a lot of sellers didn't really take that advice. Um, I thought it was very important to do because you're selling the fact that your items are handmade, right? 
Now for you, it's a little different because you're not really hand making something. Um, I mean, you're, you are taking the pictures yourself and it's something that you're seeing through your camera lens and you're capturing just the right light, just the right angle. Um, but it's a little different than regular handmade products. So a lot of handmade sellers are just putting pictures of their products up in the cover, which I'm not a big fan of. For you, all this is up here is a bunch of busyness. Your photos are amazing. We already know that, right? You don't want to have them all listed next to each other side by side so closely all in a conglomerate here all right that's not good it, it doesn't it doesn't allow a person to really appreciate each photo because they're all kind of blocked together so i really think you need to come up with a nice branded banner here for your amazon shop if you want to include one photo this is gorgeous right here if you want to include one photo on your banner, one that maybe um, describes who you are as a business, um, who gives it maybe the same feeling, uh, you can put that in the banner. You need to enlarge your name and your logo. I mean, it should be from here to here. Let people know, hey, this is where you are. Don't minimize yourself. Don't minimize your name. You're Bob Estrin, and you are the most amazing photographer ever, right? And you want to put that in, in, in neon lights, not necessarily and not really, but you want to have it nice and, sh and shown nice and large. Bob Estrin Photography, and then maybe you can say, you know, specializing in the fine arts or whatever, some little tagline. Um, you really don't need a picture at all in, in here, but if you wanted to put one, that would be all right. It wouldn't be competing with everything else. So that's for your branding, for your cover fo fo photo. Now, something I really, really like that Amazon does that Etsy doesn't, at least not yet, is they give you a nice big picture for to, to showcase the artisan, to showcase the, the artist, the, the photographer, the designer. I love that. Um, it looks like you're standing in a gallery space. This actually looks like this photo right here. Um, so that's a perfect photo. You have a nice big smile on your face. You're welcoming people into your shop. I love it. I think that's great. Um, you got here's a tagline, photography art for your walls. I think that's good. You have a nice quote here, which is nice. Let's see what happens when I click the contact me. Okay, so that's just standard basic from Amazon. Let's see if it does the same thing here. Yep. Okay. So those work. Let's let's go down here before I hit see all. And this is something I don't like about Amazon. I don't like how it's formatted. This is to me, it's pointless to have this here. Not many people at all will read this all this text. And you're, you can't put spaces. You can't enter and break it up into two paragraphs. I've tried when I did my Amazon shop for a moment just to see how it worked, and it, it, it wouldn't let you. And there are ways to get around it through coding, but if they catch you, they're going to remove it anyway. So it kind of sucks. So you have this nice, huge paragraph, which probably has some great information in it, but it creates eye fatigue, and people aren't going to read the whole thing. <clears throat> Awesome feedback. That's fantastic. Okay. That all looks really good to me. Good job, we got everything filled out wonderfully. 
Now let's go and actually take a look at your items. Now I'm curious to know why some are prime and some aren't. Does this mean that it is FBA? Has this already been sent in to fulfilled by Amazon? Or is it something that you already have done and packaged up and you're just ready to label? Versus some of these that don't say prime. I know this one looked like it was hanging in that gallery. Perhaps you have some of these hanging up in a gallery and you can't ship them right away. I would be curious to know why these are on, not on prime, but these are. Oh, look at that. Awesome. All right. Now I have to be honest with you here um, because I don't want to give you any kind of false sense. Um, Amazon is not my specialty. I can tell you what I feel about your site as far as aesthetics go. Um, I can tell you what buyers are gonna be looking at and what um, are possible selling features. But when it comes to SEO and the more technical end of Amazon, I am not that knowledgeable on it and I don't wanna pretend that I am. Um, we have some Amazon experts that I think would probably do a better job at critiquing your shop as if it comes uh, down to SEO and some of the, the more technical things. Um, should you decide that this, this critique really didn't answer what you wanted it to answer, let me know. I'd be more than happy uh, in issuing you a partial refund and, and allowing you to connect with the Amazon experts if you need more technical help okay um, just let me know so I can tell you that I don't know if this title is good title or not to me this is um, not good if this was an Etsy listing this would not be good SEO and on a website it wouldn't either so I'm not really sure as far as Amazon goes if that's something that would be good um, to put in there. You would want to connect with Tara Reed Woodcock um, for now because she really has, she is a very successful Amazon shop, handmade at Amazon shop, and I know that she knows the ins and outs of it quite well. As far as the actual listing goes, it looks good. You have beautiful um, shots. You're using some mock-ups that look nice. Certificate of Authenticity, that's awesome. Um, you do have image title, Delicate Arch. I would assume this would be very helpful for SEO, so I might put a little bit more specific targeted words there. Um, it's great, tells about where, uh, where it was and how it, when you took a picture. Your details here. Okay. Yes, this is fulfilled by Amazon, so that, that makes sense. I love this one. Abandoned home at a ghost town in New Mexico. Wow. Perfect. There's really not a whole lot I would uh, change, Bob. Let's see, does this go to your, if I hit Facebook, what does this do? Does this share it on my Facebook? Yeah. Okay. All right, Bob, there's not a whole lot. I mean, when it comes to Amazon shops, um, your listings are beautiful. Your photographs are beautiful. I really don't know about these titles. They don't seem right to me, but I don't know exactly the right thing to tell you. 
Your pricing looks good. You're using the 95 cent price point, which is fantastic. Your also looks like you're using the right dollar increments. You got some nice uh, about pictures going on. I, I mean, really for me, I think the biggest thing, the biggest negative that I see with your store is your branding, is redoing your cover banner, getting all those pictures off of there, just put one or none, uh, enlarge your business name, maybe add a tagline, um, maybe promote your own uh, building a website, uh, not a website, an email list, perhaps from your website if you have one. That would be a good uh, role to take. It doesn't look like you have very many items. So, yeah, only 12. So I definitely would add in a lot more. Um, but that's really all I got for you. Um, you know, I don't really want to get into SEO too much because, like I said, I'm not knowledgeable enough to talk about it. Um, definitely reach out in the Amazon group or through Tara Reed Woodcock. Everything looks great though. I mean, your copy looks good, your photos look good, your pricing looks good. Um, the SEO and the branding are the only things that I would definitely um, start working on. All right, so I hope this helped somewhat. Uh, if you have any questions, please know you can always contact me uh, through Facebook or you can send me a, a tag on the wall. I'm always here and happy to help. Thanks so much, Bob, and um, I'll definitely be keeping an eye on your shop. It's beautiful, I love your work. And I can't wait to see more of, uh, of the pictures that you take. Thanks so much. Have a great week.